Find the component form of vector v if the magnitude of vector v equals 5.5, and when drawn in standard position, vector v lies along the negative y-axis. And therefore, this would be the vector v, where the magnitude or length is 5.5 units. The direction of vector v is the angle in standard position where the initial side is along the positive x-axis and the terminal side is along the vector. And therefore, the angle theta, the direction of the vector, is this angle here, which measures 270 degrees. Now we're asked to find the component form of this vector, and because the vector lies along the negative y-axis, we should not have to perform any calculations to determine the component form. Because there is no horizontal change or horizontal displacement, the x component is zero, and because the vector points down along the negative y-axis, the vertical component is negative 5.5, because the vertical displacement or vertical change is down 5.5 units. However, if we wanted to, we could still find the x and y components by determining the magnitude of vector v times cosine theta and the magnitude of v times sine theta, using the magnitude and the angle of 270 degrees. So let's show this as well. The vector v has an x component of 5.5 times cosine 270 degrees and a y component of 5.5 times sine 270 degrees. Now because the angle is a quadrantal angle, we would need to use a unit circle to determine the trig function values or analyze the graph of sine and cosine. Looking at the unit circle, the terminal side of 270 degrees intersects the unit circle at this point here, where the unit circle x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta, and therefore cosine 270 degrees is equal to zero, sine 270 degrees is equal to negative one, which gives us an x component of 5.5 times zero, and a y component of 5.5 times negative one, of course giving us the same result, where the x component is zero, and the y component is negative 5.5. Let's take a look at a second example. We're asked to find the component form of the vector v if the magnitude is seven, and when drawn in standard position, vector v lies along the positive x-axis. So this would be vector v lying along the positive x-axis, where the length or magnitude is seven units. And because there is no rotation from the positive x-axis, the direction, or the angle theta, is zero degrees. But once again, to find the component form of this vector, we should not have to perform any calculations because the vector v lies along the positive x-axis. The horizontal change or displacement is seven units to the right, and therefore the x-component is seven. And there is no vertical change or vertical displacement and therefore the vertical component, or the y component, is zero. But again, if we wanted to, we could go through the process once again of determining the magnitude of v times cosine theta and the magnitude of v times sine theta. So once again, let's also show this. Vector v has an x component of seven times cosine zero degrees and a y component of seven times sine zero degrees. Again, we have a quadrantal angle, so we will go back to the unit circle to determine the trig function values. The terminal side of zero degrees intersects the unit circle at this point, and therefore cosine zero degrees is equal to one, sine zero degrees is equal to zero, giving an x component of seven times one and a y component of seven times zero, of course giving us the same result where the x component is seven and the y component is zero. I hope you found this helpful.